Well, here we are on another job, Carpish Coy. Flick around and let's have a look at what we've been doing. Okay, so I put my size 9 through that quite a while ago. Holes everywhere, I don't think you can see that on the camera. Put this over, I don't think I'll tell that on camera. It's just absolutely gone threadbare, there's no plastic on that at all. So I've got to try and get this roof changed before the heavens open the forecast thunderstorms later on today so I'll crack on get it done ok then so I've got the first sheet on just a couple of pins in to hold it down having to remove one at a time so brittle and this roof either strong to hold more weight I don't think I've got enough to do that end so I'm hoping the next sheet will reach to where that steel is but uh, just crack on. What I've done, I've put one sheet over the top of the other one. And what I'll do now is I'll just slide that over, tuck it under there, and if it comes to it, I can just stitch that to the metal temporary. As you can probably tell, I'm sweating my, uh, my nudges off. It's just starting to rain. Oop, flick it around. Let's have a look. So I managed to make that in two pieces, I've just put some cheap ceilings under there it's just starting to rain battery's gone flat luckily I've got a spare, I'm going to get up here now fasten it down and tidy up well there you go folks recycle sheets again where I've cut them you can see a little bit of spray just to help try and stop it rusting I will put a bit of flashing on that I think if I'm when I get round to doing it Managed to get that end done in two pieces. <sighs> yeah, that everything's giving slippery. Oh, in front of my neck. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Well, this is Carvish Guy. There's always a blunder. I've just come in here, hear the clatter, lost my clock. There we are then. Okay then so I managed to get the roof on just before the heavens opened I'll just flick around and show you now you was on a roof before lovely day today these videos I'm putting them on that I'm putting on and what I record, recorded months ago like I say Mason my priority my birthday was July the 10th Mason had football football training over his local club they got a little bit of a bar, all the parents of the football team had a beer for my birthday. Cracking day until I come home. If you don't like these sort of things, don't bother watching from here. I had a major disaster when I come back. Now, Mason's fry tank, I'd clean the water out three days prior to this happening, which is what I did regular. And I change nine gallons of water each time I do it, and I've never had a, never had an issue. So I come back after my birthday, and this is what I ended up seeing when I got out. Run the top here and all. I'm going to get them and throw them in the tank out front. Really sorry you've had to see that, but Carpish Coy, you see everything bad, bad, and more bad, and the occasion a little bit of good. Devastated. I had a pond out the front that was full of water, so nobody pinched it. I was going to make a grow on tank for Mason, and it's it's happening. I just can't keep giving through all this. Mason was devastated with the fish. 
what I did, I took the fish straight out of that tank, you could see the gill still moving, and I throw the I throw the koi straight into that tank outside. They did survive it, believe it or not. One was one was dead um, straight away, so obviously I've just got rid of that one. The other survived. Left the next day, they was up swimming about lovely and I was thinking fantastic. So I've took them out, put them in my main pond, and believe it or not, I was like, I just don't know what had gone wrong. Really don't know what had gone wrong. So anyway, it, it boiled down to, I've ended up with two. I'll flick it down, see if I can get them on. The little Tamasaba that was struggling on the bottom of the mason's tank is right at the bottom there. He's, he's pulled through, this has been a, a couple of months now. And there's a fish over there that's one of Glynn's. There's a tinge to the water because of a treatment I've been putting in. This is now September. Now that was lemon arawaki. I don't know if you can tell by the colours on it, it's actually turning orange. It turned out to be a really nice fish. And we've still got three left in the tank. Well, they've grown too big for the tank now, so I'm moving them on, I'm moving the tank on as well. I'm just finding it too much now for myself to keep on top of everything. My Mason's football, it's a full time thing with him now. Just come back to night training. Just decided to uh, upload this video for you and get it on. I say it's September, September the 6th today. And that video was July the 10th, my birthday, when uh, we had the problems with the, with the koi, with this fry, with this fry tank, the growing tank, whatever you want to call it. The tank that was out the front to sold it on. Devastating all the way. So anyway folks, sorry about that. Hope you've enjoyed the video regardless. I do appreciate you all watching it. Thanks to all the old and new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And if you have enjoyed it folks, don't forget to polish our thumb. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we'll catch you on the next one.